I always feel very lucky that I get to sing Mahler because it's nice when you find a composer that sort of feels as if your personality suits and your voice suits and your artistry suits the, the music. I'm sure Michael would say the same thing. It's the heart on your sleeve feeling of Mahler. It's the emotional, it's the human quality. For me, it's very spiritual. It's very much about what music is about, about connection, about expression, um, going on a journey together. Das Klagende Lied is really a huge epic. It charts the stories of the rise and fall of kingdoms, of uh, the scenes of nature moving from one season to another, the most beautiful and most frightening aspects of what such epics can contain. It's very, very cinematic. Uh, imagine something like uh, scenes in Game of Thrones and you have an idea of what he's going for here. And he wrote this fabulous music for it, which gives one a lot of opportunity to think imaginatively. And I thought, wouldn't it be wonderful to actually make some of these scenes, these big panoramas, that are in the music actually happen in the hall. And to do this, we've got James Dara and Adam Larson, the same team who brought us uh, Bernstein's On the Town and Peter Grimes and other fabulous productions we've done, who are now bringing their magic to Mahler's early fabulous epic, Das Klage de Lied. I think one of the questions we musicians are asking is what, how will music change to make it more relevant, right, for changing society, changing cultural picture, changing people, really, changing attention spans. And uh, for me, part of that will be the merging of aesthetic worlds, you know, a visual experience, an oral one, an emotional one, all of that. That's sort of happening with this Das Klagendelied because although it won't be operatic in terms of staging, it will be very much a physical experience and a physical narrative, which I kind of love because that's liberating as an instrument. It's when you're moving, you, you sing freer, you know, you feel freer when you can express something with your body. We have one of the greatest singers living today, uh, Sasha Cook. She's a great Malarian singer, has been part of many of our projects in previous years, and now here she is doing this most, most touching of Mahler's first great song cycles. Coming here always feels like coming home. It really does, in so many ways. Um, first of all, Michael has been incredibly generous, and sometimes I think of the relationship almost like a paternal one because he is so generous and encouraging and, and open. You know, it's nice when you find a conductor with whom it really feels like an equal relationship, not restrictive in any way, but constantly encouraging, challenging, interesting. Please come and hear this program, which will show you your orchestra playing at its virtuoso height, all its great soloistic and ensemble powers, and at the same time, give you an insight into this great musical mind, Mahler, and just who, as a very young man, he already had become. <laughs>